Are leaders really readers? Well, I'm gonna cover that in today's video, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan with Essential Oils and Me, and are leaders readers? Well, I believe so. And I'm gonna cover that in the next section. Hey, this is Lance McGowan with Essential Oils Me, and leaders are readers. That's right. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about today in a book that has really helped me with that area. It's called, it's from John C. Maxwell, and it's called Developing the Leader Within You, and this is a workbook. Really awesome. All right, so the top five principles of leadership. Number one is leadership is influence. A lot of times we think leadership is a title. But that's not the case. Really, the heart of leadership is influence and your ability to really drive change within people's lives in that regard. And it's not always actions. It could be thoughts, you know, being a thought leader or, you know, they always say online influencer. And you could almost say online leader. That's, that's what that person is if they're on social media. All right, number two principle is everyone influences someone. So if you think leadership is you have to be the CEO of something, that's not true. I mean, you can be the C You should be the CEO of yourself, you know, the the chief executional officer of your life and your mind and your skills and your whatever you think and do like that should be really the thing but really it could be your immediate family it could be family members it could be coworkers. so everyone influences somebody you never know who or how much you influence that's definitely true I know more is caught than taught especially with kids you know they they just follow parents around and observe and they pick up stuff and they're like I didn't teach you that but actually you did through your your actions and your words and <laughs> it's funny me growing up with my mom I, I know a lot of times I would catch a lot of stuff she was doing and and uh, <laughs> I would call her out on it too and she'd be like well yeah she'd get kind of upset because she was like she didn't she wasn't used to somebody like calling her out on it on her, her inconsistencies and she almost she just got upset it was, it was kind of interesting but she was influencing me it was influencing me because she's like well if you're gonna hold me accountable mom you know you should hold yourself accountable for something especially if you're doing that too you know something so, so yeah it, it was, it's really interesting I'm glad I can't remember everything that she did <laughs> but but I do remember her getting upset when I called her out on stuff <laughs> all right anyways uh, the best investment in the future is a proper influence today that's right a lot of times we'll think like hey I'm gonna be a leader one day or hey, I'll be a leader whenever the time is right or situation or the moon aligns with the stars but really we can start leading ourselves that's really where it starts and then leading our home and then leading our community and you know not trying to get all political but I believe that's where everything should start is how are you leading yourself and then and how are you leading your family and, and what's going on inside the four walls of your home and that's really the key because that's how eventually a nation can change because if you lead yourself you can lead your home if you can lead your home you can lead your community or neighborhood and then it just goes from the city to the state to the nation and, and really online obviously stuff can make it a lot easier too because you can reach a lot of people that normally wouldn't be reached but for me this is really important principle not waiting till tomorrow or the next day but really just starting today all right and number five is influence is a skill that can be developed so we're not born with leadership or influence but it's something that can be honed tweaked refined and learned and, and books like this are amazing because they really help to get those skills and and really develop them in a way that you can start taking action today and for me that's really important and, and I always try to keep this in mind and I and I just I just love the word leader the phrase leaders are readers because it's so true like the fact that you're listening to this and you're you're kind of absorbing this content is, is awesome you know I appreciate it and it's just a way for me to influence you and hopefully for the positive <laughs> right you're just listening and be like wow these are some things that I could do and 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 just for me this book or this workbook was a reminder that leadership isn't always about a title it's about what what are we thinking what are we saying what are we doing on a daily basis and knowing that even if it's that one person you know there's that analogy of like you know all these sea turtles hatching from their eggs on the beach and you know they're crawling through the sand and they're trying to get to the ocean and you know there's all these birds and animals trying to eat them and they are eating them and and somebody goes up and picks that one little turtle up and throws it into the water and somebody else says hey why are you trying to save that one little turtle it doesn't matter you know there's all these turtles dying and you know due to animals and you know stuff like that and so many of them that actually get into the water will actually die too through to all types of like natural circumstances but that person that did it says you know what it matters to that one and for me that's a uh, really kind of principle that I believe in and is even if it's that one person that gets some some value out of this or what I do I, I think it's worth it at the end of the day and because I was that one to somebody and 
whether that's my mentors or or people that have positively influenced me and, and I really appreciate it so I'm just like a cup that's been full and just trying to you know give some of that love back <laughs> alright so some of the next steps are to click the links in the description to learn more you can actually get a copy of this book I included a link on Amazon for you leaders are readers because if you're a leader you're just a person of influence and it doesn't have to be a whole you know social media following or a room full of people or even it comes with a title it's leadership is influence and you can influence yourself what well, should start with yourself uh, but also it could be your family it could be your spouse significant other yes it could be the per people you work with leadership is all about influence and for me I never thought about it in that way until I started reading this book and it's or the workbook it's it's awesome you kind of work through things and you're able to kind of identify where in your life you could have more leadership skills or really have more influence as I say because you know you can't control people and if you try to control people is it can actually turn into a form of manipulation and that's not cool so really it's just influencing people and for me the best way to influence people is to educate them is to provide my own personal experience combined with fact-based information in a way that adds value and is relevant to the audience and so Yes, I use stories. I use things that really help me communicate my message. There's analogies. I mean, there's so many like techniques, obviously, to help educate and make it more of effective. But I really just gravitate more towards, you know, influencing people and being a positive influence and or an online influencer, as they like to call it, <laughs> but also a local in-person influencer, too. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can watch more videos like this one or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on and to get a copy of this workbook because it's a great thing to kind of go through and get that personal development on, right? <laughs>